Hi, Michael here from Go Engineer, and in today's armchair tech tip, I want to talk to you today about the tips and foundation sheet combinations used on your high-end Stratasys FDM systems. Now, what I want to share dates back three generations to the Titan class machines, all the way to the current 450s and 900s of today. If you've ever wondered what tips and what build sheet combinations work on your system and in what configuration, I want to go through that today so you have a better understanding of it. And by doing so, I've got a little art project set up in the other room and I'd like to share with you a little breakdown on how this all plays out. So come join me, let me show you how this works. Okay, welcome to Michael's bad art but really good information session. I want to share with you today about the tips and foundation sheet combinations that can be used on your high-end FDM system. In a lot of cases, let's just start off with the fundamentals of what these actually mean. When you look at the tips, you're ordering them, they're going to say T10, T12, T16, what the heck does that even mean? And why would I want that specific tip? What's the purpose of it? Let me break that down. Use a little green here to kind of celebrate Go Engineer, so hopefully you can see this okay orifice, resolution, and width. A T10 tip, a T10 is a 10 thousandths orifice opening. So it's a small hole producing a 5 thousandths layer resolution height of material that then correlates to a width of 10 thousandths of material for what it's ex exactly extruding out for its bead. So 5 thousandths tall, 10 thousandths wide, out of a 10 thousandths orifice hole. So when you see these numbers, that's what they mean. This is the size of the hole. That then correlates to a resolution. And just in case you didn't know, resolution in the terms of 3D printing, the lower the number, the higher the resolution is. So a 5000s resolution, low number is a really high resolution, meaning that it's building very, very fine details throughout a part. So T12 would be a 7 thousandths correlating to a 14 thousandths tool path width. 16 goes to 10 and a 20, 13, 26, 20, and 40 for the largest for the Monster 900 parts. When do you want to pick a tip based on the width and the height? This is just a really rough, a rough starting point, okay? Foundational when you just start getting used to it. When would I want to use a specific tip? If I'm at zero, nobody builds a zero inch part, but let's just say a half an inch. If I'm at zero to half an inch to two and a half inches, you'd want to look at a T10. If you get from two and a half to five, a T12 would be good. A five to 10, 16, and a 10 on up to T20. And again, the T40s are for monster, monster parts on the big 900 systems. These are just rough ideas. Most of this is based on the features of a part. So just consider that based on a feature, if it's a small feature, I might want to consider a smaller orifice to get a better resolution, to create a smaller tool path, to actually fill in the details of that part. Okay, so that's what the tips mean. And, and, and what does that look like? You know, when you buy a tip initially, you'll get like a T16. This is how it'll come to you. Or you'll see the T12. When you first buy these and they arrive to you, they can be used in any material combination that accepts a T12 or a T16 tip. Now I'm going to show you here in just a moment a breakdown in the software about where to find the tip combinations for each given material on each given system so you don't, you don't have to memorize any of this information. So let's just take a quick look at that. Okay, taking a look at GrabCAD print. Down in the bottom right corner, I have selected a Stratasys Fortis 450 MC as my template. Using that, and then coming up to the upper right hand set of icons, and selecting the tray settings. When I click on this, it brings up a menu that allows me to see all the materials that are available on that given system. And by selecting a given material, I would like to run ASA, for example. It then shows me all the material slice combinations with tips that are available for ASA on a 450. From there, it also allows me to see the support material combinations and then the support tip, if I click on this it will show you that there's two, the support tips that are required to run the support and model material on a 450 MC. 
So take a moment, come over here and click the drop down, pick another material, polycarbonate for example. See the different tip combinations available for that material and the different support material. And when you choose a support material, it will show you the support tip required. So again, no need to memorize this information. It's all right here for you in the software. Okay, moving on. All right, taking a look at Insight. In the Insight software, focusing on the right-hand side under the Modeler Setup, under Modeler Setup, you can see that I have in the bottom right corner selected a Fortis 450MC. You can change that and all other applicable information in the Modeler Setup, being the material and tips, under the machine icon. By simply clicking on this machine icon, it will open up a new window. From there, you can select the modeler type that pertains to your system. And then by doing so, you can see the model material that is available on that system. And in this case, again, we will stick with the ASA. We will select a support material combination. And then you can see the slice height. Now what it's doing here is saying, if you have chosen a slice height of 10 or say 7 thousands, it then says under a 7 thousands, you need a T12 tip and a T12 SR30 tip based on this combination. So again, come in here, find your machine, then select a model material that you would like to run by selecting PC again, for example. It will show you the combination of support as well as slice heights available. And then with that, it tells you the tip combination. Again, going back to the soluble support combination, it shows me then the tips that are required to run that slice height under this model material with a Forest 450MC. All right, I hope that helps. Moving on. Okay, hopefully those two software package breakdowns, GrabCAD Print and Insight, give you some ideas to where to find the information on when can I use a T12 tip with what material combination, and then what support tip goes with it. Because that question comes up all the time, support tips. What's the combination of model and support? That should give you a pretty good idea where that information is at. But going back to the tips for a second, when you first get these, when you first get a T12 or a T16 tip, they can be used for Altem, polycarbonate, ASA, it doesn't matter, okay? Fresh tips can be used for any material. Look at the software package, it'll tell you if that will accept that tip combination. But it can be used for anything. But once you use a tip for a given material, because they're all extruded at different temperatures, this would then become an ASA, for example. It would then be an ASA tip for the life of that tip, or an Altem tip for the life of this tip. Once material is in it, you can continue to reuse it. It just needs to be reused for the material that's already inside that tip. Okay, just an important note. From there, <clears throat> How can you tell when you're doing the tip changes? Uh, we gave you a quick little video on that. What does it look like? On the back side of the tip, you can see a marking, okay? There's a marking on the back side of the tips that give you an idea, and this one says SR, okay? The supports have an SR marking to them. When you're looking at GrabCAD or Insight, it will break down what tip goes with what support combination. Again, it's all there for you. You don't have to memorize it. But when you're actually putting these into the system, there is a marking on the back side of the tip that indicates which one's a model, which one's a support, so you know in which location they end up going. Now, finally, I want to talk to you about the build sheets, okay? Combinations of build sheets. The clear build sheets, whether it's an old Titan class system or whether it's up to the 450s and 900s of today, the clear build sheets are going to be the ones you're going to use for ASA, ABS, polycarbonate, and you can find that information on the label. I'll give you a quick zoom up on the label in just a moment. There you go. Information about how you can know that this build sheet is utilized for what material. From there, the Altems and the Antero, they're going to use a tan build sheet, okay? The tan build sheets are going to be the ones for the high temp materials. And again, it's marked on the label. I'll give you a focus up on that again. Okay, so Altems, Antero, tan. Clear goes to the PC, ABS, standard materials. The ones that come in the Mylar bag, these are, and you'll focus up on that label,
The Mylar bags are specific for the nylon materials. And again, we've got a video about how to handle nylon build sheets. This bag is not gonna be enough. You're gonna wanna find another way to store the nylon build sheets outside of just doing that. Follow that video, It'll help you with some good safety tips. So that's the tip and foundation sheet combinations. So hopefully this gives you a better idea about what these numbers mean, how they correlate to a resolution, and how that resolution translates to a width of material being extruded out. So then you can therefore understand why as the part gets bigger, you may want a bigger tip resolution, or why you get into a smaller part, you may want to drop down. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with us today. Hope my art project helped out. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Welcome back. Hopefully that gave you a good idea about the tips and foundation sheet combinations that can be utilized on your system, but more importantly, where you can find that information on your own. Please like and subscribe to this video channel. Follow us at GoEngineer.com for all applicable links. And thanks for spending a little bit of time with us today. Talk to you later. Bye.